School can be really challenging, especially at the beginning of the year, and so you can expect to make some mistakes. Don't worry about that. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody fails. Everybody says things they regret. Everybody disappoints their parents. Everybody falls down and has to pick themselves back up again. Everybody makes a mistake. Failing is a part of life. And I want you to think in this lesson about the concept of failing forward. What I mean by that is failing like everybody else does, but being the kind of person who learns from your mistakes, picks himself up again, and tries harder next time. Don't quit. Just keep trying. And to encourage you, I want you to think about several things. The first thing is everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. You know, King Solomon was the wisest man who ever lived. And in 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46, he said, There is no one who does not sin. Also, the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter, 8, um, Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says, That all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now, sin is a mistake. Not all mistakes are sins, but all sins are mistakes, very serious mistakes. But you'll notice in those two passages that everybody sins at some point in their life and continues to. And they have to repent and confess and change, but they're not alone in that. You know, James said this in James chapter 3, verse 2, we all stumble in many ways. And then he goes on to say, if there is anyone who does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man able to bridle his whole body. You know, one of the most common mistakes is saying something you regret. Well, we all do that. It's not important that you make a mistake. The important thing is, will you change? Will you learn from it? Will you do better next time? The second thing I want you to think about is that mistakes are a sign that you're trying to grow. Now, if you look back over the last few weeks or months or years even, and you can't think of a couple of mistakes that you've made, it's not because you're perfect or because you're just a really super successful person. It's probably because you're not trying to grow. You're not trying anything new. Anybody who do, tries to do something for the first time is going to make some really big mistakes, but they learn from those mistakes and then they keep growing. And growth is such an important spiritual discipline. Second Peter chapter three, verse 18 says, grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Here's another idea. People who make mistakes learn how to sympathize with others. Your failures and your mistakes are not, are not just yours. Other people make the same mistakes. And after you pick yourself up and learn from them and do better, you can look out for others who are struggling with the same things, and now you know what it feels like and you can help them more. The word sympathy means to feel with somebody else, to know what it's like to be in their shoes. Maybe you were the new kid at school last year. You didn't know your way around the school. You didn't know anybody. You had to make new friends and it was really hard and you probably stumbled and staggered through that process like all new kids do. This year, you're not the new kid at school anymore, but I bet there are some students in your class or at the school who are new. Can you look out for them? You know, leaders are not perfect. Leaders just make the mistakes first, and then they learn from them, and they can reach out and help others who are in the same situation. The last thing I want you to think about is that God forgives. God always is there willing to forgive if you're ready to repent and change and do better. Now, that's not because you're perfect. If you were perfect, God would not need to forgive. He forgives because he's merciful and because Jesus died for us on the cross. You know, it's important, though, to follow his example. God is a forgiving person, and he expects us to be forgiving as well. After he gave us the model prayer in which he told us to ask for forgiveness, Jesus said, if you forgive others their trespasses, your Father who is in heaven will also forgive your trespasses. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Our forgiveness depends on 
whether we forgive others. So let's follow in God's example. He's willing to forgive others' mistakes. People are going to wrong us. Let's forgive them as well. Look, you're going to make some mis mistakes. You're going to fail sometimes. That's part of what, it, what it's like to be a human being. The thing that will set you apart is whether you'll dust yourself off, pick yourself up, and try again. Learn from your failures. Fail forward. I hope you have a great day.